Hi everyone, another book review for you. This book has been sent to me by uh, Christy Rice um, Publisher, I believe. This was a long time ago, actually during the pandemic, and I, I wasn't informed beforehand. It just turned up on my doorstep and during those grim um, couple of pandemic years, uh, it was it really brightened my day basically and somehow I misplaced it and completely forgot to do the review for it because I did want to share it with you so it's called how to make art for joy's sake this is um, Christie's latest book and I have reviewed her previous book and I think this one is kind of more fun in my opinion so this says here free spirited watercolor and basically represents Christie's um, uh, style she's got a YouTube channel here which I'll try to put up somewhere here for you and let's have a little look into the book so first of all it's spiraled which personally I like it is not going to get caught on the shelf because it's protected by the cover and it's a hard cover so it's quite sturdy but I do like it because it means it's completely flat you won't be able to bend the page to flip on the back because of the hard cover but you can have it lying down completely flat the pages and I really like it I don't know I always was a big fan of the spiral binding um, so this one was published in 2021 so last year and my apologies that I completely forgot about it um, but here we are so we've got contents and in the contents we've got things like prep materials wout which is wet on wet I, I believe and then wet on dry wet on damp so all different kind of techniques here and then we have the details, so different brushes. I have been also sent a brush, I believe, with her book. So this brush here, trying to think, has there been any more brushes? I think just this brush, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the Art of Joy Sake brush. And um, they are available to, to buy as well. So... Traditionally, this is the shape of the brush that I know Christy likes to um, paint with. And so, you know, now you can give it a go as well. Then we have forget rules, forget right, remember joy, exercises, the techniques, projects ready to fly. So basically, uh, this book is great for someone who loves to be playful when it comes to watercolor, who wants to experiment, who doesn't want to stay in maybe a traditional sense of watercolor, but wants to have fun. And this is where Christy does it quite well, I find. Um, in her art, um, botanicals and flowers are happily featured. So... The previous book was also on that subject matter, so that's basically what you will predominantly get here. And then you have, you have the letter from the author and how to use this book. So prep-wise, just to give you an idea of the layout of the book and also the font and the, the funness you can see in the presentation already. And then we have the... Um, suggestion of how to use the brush so we've got the short edge tip long edge so you can do all sorts of different marks and same here this is the dagger brush doesn't say anything here it says it's one quarter so one one fourth um, but it is I believe it's a dagger brush yeah so then we have, you know, loads of ways of playing around with watercolor, creating your own color palettes. These seem very similar. I think I have all of them. <laughs> I like all of the colors. 
and yeah so you've got loads of color loads of joy if you want to cheer your day up and you feel like you just want to play with color i think this book will be um, quite satisfying so we have then flat dry brush ombre line work a bit of everything and it is quite thick so as you can see so let's have a look what comes next so lovely pictures lovely colors then we have the techniques this is actually her brush the one that she uses but she created um, her own branded brush basically in that same size because I can see it's one quarter here so it gives you a good opportunity to play with the same brush as she does uh, using her techniques There is a little bit of mixed media, but I think it's mainly focusing on watercolor. So you've got some, you know, ways of introducing other things like markers, textural mark making, landscapes. So we do have some landscapes here. Then she's working with a textile design and getting inspired by the pattern so I'm just going back a little bit here so as you can see it is definitely floral and botanical um, heavy I don't want to say heavy but you know what I mean it's within that and then we have here jam and rock patterns. Oh, that's something I'm currently interested in. That's really good. I didn't realize she had a little section on that as well. So again, I love looking at all the patterns that you get from minerals and, you know, the structures and colors. So here are some ways of getting inspired. These seem to be quick sketches which as we know quick sketches are always important you can learn a lot from them and then we have imaginary landscapes so just having a bit of fun with that so color palette as you can see very bright colorful then we have a bouquet at the end watercolor fragments so this is where she's combining real flowers and um, things like that and then you can create petals and just, you know, I don't know what you would do with that because obviously the flowers would dry out, but maybe take a photo um, of it. And just, you know, just do it for fun, really. It doesn't have to be kept forever like that. Just have fun with your colors because to me, I always want to preserve everything. But really, you don't have to. You can just do art because it's, it's enjoyable. And I think this is what... Christy is all about having fun and enjoying creating so I hope you enjoyed this uh, book review it is definitely a fun one nice and thick so for those of you who love color who love flowers I think it would be a great book for you so thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon oh and as always the link will be down below see ya